Hi, this is Tyler Oaks from Midwest Machinery. Uh, I'm a regional manager with Midwest Machinery and also the location manager out of our Morris location. I have been with Midwest Machinery, formerly Amundsen Peterson since 2014, originally in a sales role, then to location manager and now regional manager. As a regional manager, I uh, oversee the locations of Morris, Elbow Lake, Alexandria, and Wadena. Today, we're going to talk about uh, after fall, kind of a maintenance guide with your 2730 rippers. Uh, these last few falls around our area here have not been probably the most kind on our fall tillage equipment with the mud, um, then going into frozen ground, thawed out ground, back to frozen ground. So just wanted to kind of give a quick walkthrough guide on what to look at on your 2730 rippers. Starting up front, uh, one of the first things we want to look at is safety, obviously, right away. Now, this unit, you can see clear as day that the safety chain has fallen off on this unit. Uh, but this is one of the things we want to look at on these units. Make sure that safety chain is there. Uh, get that wrapped around on your drawbar. So if something were to happen going down the road, this unit will stay attached to that tractor. Uh, next, obviously, you got your jack stand there as well that we want to look at. Uh, going further towards the back, obviously when transporting, we do have that hydraulic lock there, uh, get that turned off so the hydraulics will not drain out of that unit that way. Uh, next thing, when we are unhooking or doing anything around these uh, with the weight, uh, the back and forth on them, you want to use those rear jack stands to make sure that unit um, holds upright on the backside and doesn't happen to tip on you. I uh, hear the other thing of importance is obviously our lights. Uh, make sure that our light hookup is appropriate, isn't cracked, isn't broke, doing anything there. Make sure our wiring harness works well. Um, I know with the mud we've thrown up and everything, some of our wiring may have gotten uh, beat up over the last few years. Uh, specifically trace those wires back to our hazard lights and our running lights in the back there. That's going to give us the best clearance and visibility when transporting down the road uh, for safety there. So next, looking at a few grease points. Uh, there aren't too many on the 2730s because of a lot of it going to greaseless bearings. But one of the first things to look at is obviously on this turnbuckle for leveling, there's a grease zerk on the bottom, along with a, another one all the way up on the top. So make sure those are greased good. The next spot to take a look on greasing is obviously our wheel bearings. Uh, when we are taking a look at those wheel bearings, uh, make sure we wanna jack that unit up, see if there's any play in that bearing. Um, if we need to open them up, uh, repack with grease, or if we have to tighten them up, uh, there's a bolt inside there. We can tighten up, re-put, install that key in there, and then put our cap back on. Uh, another quick watch while we're here is obviously taking a look at air pressure on those tires. Uh, another grease point on each of these standards. Now, these units happen to be 22 foot uh, standards or 22 foot 11 shank units. So, on the bottom of these standards, uh, there are grease zerks on these. Deer recommends every eight hours when in rocky conditions and when they are moving regularly. Now, over these last few years and what we've seen, recommendation is to grease those uh, regularly there. Next, looking at a few of the wear items on this ripper, uh, the discs. Up front, the discs uh, on a C shank unit, these discs uh, come at 26 inches uh, on the front C shank. Recommendation from John Deere is when you have wore 15 to 20% off of these units that they should be replaced. So take a look at those, get a tape measure on them there uh, and get a look that way. Again, the bearings on these front discs are greaseless bearings there. So if you wanna spin them and check those out, but greaseless on that side. Uh, that is the front row of discs. Your next row uh, that are pulling it back the other direction, these are the same size disc there. So again, 26 inches, 15 to 20% there. On the back, on these discs, these are our disc levelers in the back. These would be, uh, they are 18 and a half inches new on these units. So again, 15 to 20% on those units. Uh, if there's anything there that they're wore over that to replace. The other thing to watch when you're spinning them, are they running true? I know occasionally we hit rocks, some of those discs may get bent up and they are not doing what we need to do there or are not running smoothly and pulling that ground and leveling it back out the way we need to. 
Next spot to look at is obviously on our standards themselves, along with our shins and our points. So taking a look at these wear shins here, if they're getting wore out, uh, this unit doesn't have covering boards on it, but if you had covering boards, again, that's another spot to take a look at there. And then also your points, you know, once they become wore, that's pretty common theme there, but those would be an easy spot to take a look at, do that maintenance before we put it away or make note of what we're gonna potentially have to do before next year. On the back side, this unit has the, uh, knifed edge baskets on it. So want to take a look at those baskets. Are they bent up? Are they dinged up? Are there any issues there? Uh, make sure to spin these units. One thing here that can come if they get a little bit of out of alignment, you can tweak on that bearing a little bit. So spin on them, see how true they're running. But with that being a greaseless bearing in there again, but we do, we may have to slide these in or out a little bit to make sure everything there is working correctly. Now, one plug for an add-on attachment on these scraper units when you're running them. John Deere does offer, and you can see it in this picture a little bit here in the video, but does offer an internal scraper for these units now. Uh, when we've had the falls we've had the last few years, this has been a great product for us and we've used them quite a bit. Helps keep them things running on the ground um, where they need to be doing a good job, but keep them clean as well. If you were to have Nothing on the backside, obviously no maintenance there, but if you had the heavy coil tine harrow there, obviously take a look at those tine lengths there, measure that, make sure your bars are still straight, uh, that they didn't get bent or tweaked um, out of alignment there, but that would be the other maintenance side on that. So just gonna kind of show, you can see the inside scraper a little bit there as well as it spins on the inside. So this unit, uh, here's just a quick, take a look at your hydraulics as well. This one's got a leak on it. Uh, so just wanna take a look there to uh, make sure we don't have any other leaks across hydraulics. If you do have a 11 shank unit, you will have the wings. So take a look, fold it down, take a look at the bearings on those wing wheels as well. Make sure air pressure on those is where they need to be uh, going into spring and fall if it gets used in the spring. So. That is kind of the quick walk around of a 2730. Uh, if you have questions or concerns, be sure to contact your service department at your local location or get a hold of your location manager or salesman and they should be able to help you out. Thank you.